Well, the main aim really is to bring um, the rider's engine up to full operating temperature, really. Just like you would a car, you don't take your car from the garage and you know, drive down the street as fast as you can. And uh, the rider needs to bring his body to the start line in, in shape, ready to race. And uh, I think you can really say the same for, for his brain also. He needs to know the course and he needs to know how he's going to use his strengths over the course the best to get to the finish line with nothing left and having gone as fast as he can. The time frame for, for the warm-up begins uh, from the, the start time, zero, and works back. And this, this affects everything that the rider does from the time that they wake up, breakfast, they may ride on, the, on a stationary roller at the hotel, they may do a recon of the race, pause again, eat, digest their food, warm up, and then you know even the, the departure time from the bus is time to the bare minimum that the rider can arrive to the start line without losing any time, getting cold. Uh, we may place rollers at the start line as well to keep moving again on the start line but it's just to try and give the rider the smoothest possible run into the start. The, the warm-ups between the riders vary greatly to do with you know, their own experiences. Riders exper experiment with them very much over the years. Um, they've all got different bodies that react differently, uh, but also the warm-ups need to change in function of how many days they've been racing because the, the rider's body gets used to lots of workload over several days of a race uh, and you need to maintain that really um, and not you know put your body to sleep on a, on a TT day so the warm-up already from the first day of a race or a prologue is going to be different uh, after five days or even 15 days of racing. I mean obviously uh, the warm-up for uh, a time trial differs from a road race because of the fact that you know even a road race that starts uphill directly there's always a certain amount of uh, neutral riding with the peloton before they get to the start of the race and obviously the riders warming up for a much longer event so you know the the warm-up for a road race is going to be a lot calmer and a lot more relaxed the the weather obviously really affects the warm-up, um, just as in the summertime, we need to put the riders in the shade and use ice vests to try and keep the core uh, temperature down. Here, we need to bring the riders warm, uh, you know, and their lungs warm and everything, and like really adapted to the temperature to the start. So it's a, it's a different approach. The, the cool down is uh, is a crucial um, exercise. Um, and it's done at a relatively intense level because the, the body of the rider needs to function at you know, quite an intense level to evacuate the, the lactic acid as quickly as possible. So it's a pretty brisk pace, especially after TT. After a, a road race or a mountain stage, it's probably not so intense also because the rider is pretty exhausted. But after a very intense, you know, high acid uh, event like the TT, it needs to be a pretty brisk uh, warm down.